have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Hi, Sir? Oh, oh hello, outfit. Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Justin always looks stoned. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. Like, what does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Trevor surveys his domain. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer?
Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing Mad Scientist. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So Maybe you can't this is your me? way of getting attacked. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I... Talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom.
it did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Bring me the brain, think, Igor. Brain, think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Max asking me for help me I have that either I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast, but let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? This can't be that hard. Hey, Warren. Asking me for- Have that either- I have a vision. Go- Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Have that eat. I have a vision. Godium? Hey, Warren. <laughs> Asking me. Have that either. I actually think you should use a. So you not gonna play that game, huh? game um, She blinded me with science. Um, Howdy, bro. Short. Hold on. Nah, man. I'm for full game. Oh, let me turn on my mic. Uh, Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Which one? Is it? 
No. Well, which one should I choose? I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. I don't use real skeletons. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Mm -hmm. He's oh. dropping. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Both. Both. Dean, I'm kind of doing I something now, Dana. Max. You look like ass. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Bring me the brain, Igor. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yeah, how do I take that picture? I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Or nothing will happen at all. Again we meet, Brooke. This is true, Max. Experiment. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. 
So long. Uh, again we meet, Brooke. This is true, Max. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. Let me see if I can take a picture of this carriage and stuff. I can't. Why? Bring me the brain, you go. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. is right there. Alright, why? Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? I don't want to laugh, but he looks so... <laughs> Bring me the brain, Igor. Bring me the brain, Igor. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yo, why can't I get Bring the me the to brain, take a picture? Igor. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to take this picture after all. Uh... Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Because it said I should. Well, I'll ignore it for now. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn! Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo Kate tips. Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. <laughs> Usually, 
People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. I guess Speaking Caitlin is class now. I'm worried about her. her. Photo in the contest, like Max Caulfield, for example, who I know can't wait to enter. Right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro's. Kiro, Kiro, Skiro. Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow. I guess Cable is class now. Visual power. I'm worried about her. It's yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. <laughs> Definitely something terrible. Oh, I see that? Is this for real? What the it hell? Flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Wow. Wow. Oh my god! Kate! No! She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. doing here max stop don't come near me not now it won't work i don't have any power now i have to do this by myself max seriously don't come near me i will jump okay okay i'm right here kate T, please need your responses oh max i know you want to help me i love that you stepped up to david but it doesn't matter now nothing matters to me I do want to believe that Kate your life is still yours and we can get through this together let me help I'm glad to hear you worry about me that makes me feel better Be here for you, Kate. My new motto is friends come first. 
I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Prescott drugged you, and you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So. I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Oh, and then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Here. I have no idea what to say here. I might. There are billions of videos. That's not really helping the situation for sure. Everybody will be forget. <laughs> somebody will always. Somebody will always remember. So let's just be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Thank you. You're my friend. Thank you. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. This one is a throw up. This is definitely a toss up. Um, mother? Wait, she got a message in her room at the time. What did the message say? Was it about her father? I think her father was a preacher and he said something. Or was it her aunt? It was her aunt. It wasn't, it wasn't the family member, it was the aunt. Alright. I don't remember anything about her brothers or sisters, so there's no rewinding here. So if I'm gonna flip a coin. Oh boy. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Yes, Dad that's does right. care. He even though I hurt him. Yes. He's the only one I know who believes in me. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. I'll give her one kick and then give her a hug after that. Foolishness. Now I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Yeah. As real principal hero. of Blackwell Academy, yeah. I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, 
As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Wow. 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 No wonder this looks like this because this is so rough. Well, I could be a pussy and say Nathan Doster. Jefferson did make her cry, but that's not the reason she went on the roof. Um, David? Who is David? I don't remember who David is. I would go with Nathan Doster, you know. Fuck up Nathan, I don't like Nathan. I really don't like Nathan. But that's my... That's my, my personal feelings getting in the way of making a decision. Not because I don't like Nathan, I should... Throw him under the... Oh... Mm. Yeah, fuck Nathan. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you Whoa. know it. How about we talk about principal. you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend yes. him until further notice. Whatever. You? See you in court. Yeah, Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. I think I can use my power again. <sighs> well, I want to burn Nathan, so... <laughs> I'm afraid Nathan will try and kill me, though. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know yes. this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I have the ball. I just don't I actually did do some change for the better. Oh, I feel like I'm actually outside right now. It's kind of bright. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. 
and a half times. <laughs> Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirmed. It's this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Max, something wrong with you, you know. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. story right on. Definitely, this is definitely I feel like I'm watching like Oxygen or something like that, or Lifetime. This is definitely. I would think this kind of show would probably target the age group, like teenagers growing up, probably even like just reaching anywhere between like 18, 17, and 25, maybe. 25 if you're lucky. Depends, because I mean, people watch stuff like chewing gum nowadays, so psh, people watch anything. <laughs> Doesn't matter the age. <laughs> okay, 
okay guys i won't start the next episode tonight i'll start it tomorrow uh, episode three and then yannick tassin song designer namesake strange usually I've been playing FIFA but kind of tired after getting I'm actually made top 100 this weekend so <sighs> playing FIFA tomorrow or early in the morning but this game is named actually this is only part 2 of the game I have three more parts to play. You guys will see. I'd like to thank the viewers for coming out, watching me play tonight. And I hope you guys do not miss part three. Part one was good, part two was even better. Part three kind of has me thinking can they go do it any better than you know not sure but we'll find out definitely soon thanks guys for sticking around and watching by the way and remember guys don't cry don't be all emotional time I wish there was one to fast forward Seven to one percent blamed Nathan. Save Kate's life. Why not? Who wouldn't save Kate's life? Answered Kate's call. Yes, I did. You tried to shoot Frank. Hey, <laughs> yes, I did. You took Kate. You told Kate to wait for more proof. You reported Nathan. You made fun of Victoria. Oh, this is. Oh, so hold up. Wow, that was scary. All right, guys. Episode 3 here. So I'll be playing it tomorrow for sure. Episode 4.
guys. See you guys tomorrow.